Hello, people of the internet. Peter Griffin here. I'm not joking, I've gotten a few comments saying I sound like Peter Griffin. What? I get some calling me Patrick Starr, too. I'll take it as a compliment. It's time to look at some angry comments! Normally I focus on a specific video, but this time I'll be taking comments from a variety of my videos where people got a little salty. I know this will shock you, right? But in a lot of my videos, I give what is called an opinion. And sometimes, people disagree with that opinion. Let's see what they have to say. As always, these comments will be read by my awesome channel members and Patreon sponsors. Letting them join me in this AIDS adventure is the least I can do for them supporting the channel. Anyways, let's proceed into these 1000 IQ comments. The first round of comments comes from The Problem with GTA Online and GTA 6, where I criticize GTA Online for being a boring, pointless grindfest. People forget that the perfect game doesn't exist. Hmm... I don't remember saying the game had to be perfect, kid. You're right, there is no such thing as a perfect game. Which means you can criticize any game, really. It just so happens that GTA Online is so imperfect that there are a lot of things to bitch about. So I did. You bitch. I responded to his comment, basically saying that, and he responded- People just complain about every little thing they can't just shut the fuck up. Yeah, silly me. How dare I want a better game from a AAA studio? How dare I want a game that isn't a boring, repetitive mess in an attempt to get me to throw my wallet at Cockstar for shark card money? I shouldn't point out how much better GTA Online could have been. I should be more receptive to bullshit and just take it like a real gamer. Wow, such an original video. So brave to release this video. Thanks for noticing. I'm such a badass brave boy for releasing my video. I get swarms of angry GTA Online fanboys at my door every day wielding dildo nunchucks ready to take my head off for bashing their favorite game. It's about time I got the recognition I deserve for releasing that video. Blowing nose emoji sigh. Seen this type of video with the same basis and topics over and over and over. Honestly, these videos are as bad as the Mr. Boss FTW vids. <laughs> I really don't understand this idea that people have that every video has to be original. 300 hours of content is uploaded to this website every minute, and a lot of things have already been talked about. Seriously, if I went and looked to see if someone already talked about something I want to talk about, I would never upload. Because it's almost impossible to be completely original on this site. Yes, other people have talked about GTA Online being doo-doo, but I wanted to do it too, and give my opinion in my own style. How does that make me like Mr. Boss Blank the World? I've seen the video like this already, you copied it. What? What did I just get done saying? Eat the ass of a Siberian tiger shark. I'll do what I want, who I want, where I want. I bet you're white. Sick of tired of these Pisces complaining about GTA 5 online. Lear how to be good at game. That's it. Oh, that's all I had to do to not find GTA Online boring and repetitive. Just get good at it. Wh why didn't I think of that? Aren't I a silly little Red Riding Hood? And if you don't like it, guess what? Don't play it. I bet Mr. Irvin here, upon typing that point right there with his arched eyebrows and intense stare at his computer screen, leaned back with a horny grin and thought, Ha! Take that, wom bitch! He really made a good point there. The, if you don't like it, don't play it. I don't. I just made a video explaining why I don't. Almost every game have a loop of activities. Kill this, go there, act. True, especially online games. You know what those games also do? They make it fun. At least they try to. Have you ever noticed how the enemies in GTA Online have perfect aim and shred your health in a second? Or how when you're bringing a car back to your vehicle warehouse, random AI cars dart at you to try and hit you because they're scripted to? Making the price you have to pay to fix the car go up? Also, something I noticed, when you use a cargo bomb to transport a car to your vehicle warehouse, it will randomly unhook the car mid-air, dropping it to the ground to either explode or make the price to repair the car scale. 
skyrocket. Because heaven forbid you try to speed up the monotonous grind. You know why those things happen? Booty Star made the game annoying and unfun, so you would be more inclined to pay real money for their virtual money. That doesn't make me want to play the game. It makes me want to dive tits first into a scorpion pit. Here's a comment from my Huff Paranormal Angry Comments video. Ooh, an angry comment on an angry comments episode. How meta. Why do you hide your voice, or is it that really the way you talk? <sighs> yes, yes it is. You people act like it's a birth defect. You sound like you got a mouthful of G's. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Stay away from Huff. What are you, his mom? I've been watching his videos for 10 years, you wanna be. Oh, so you came out of the womb watching Huff's videos. Impressive. He just recently put up a page to donate. This man has spent a lot of his money. Find someone else to pick on. Ah uh, yes, his Patreon page, where you can donate to have him fake contact a loved one you've lost. Not scummy at all. A exhaled playing his stupid video games while trying to maintain a worthless channel. I don't know who Axe Hild is, but I'm sure his channel is very worthwhile, even if he plays video games, you jerk. Leave Axe Hild alone. Next up are the comments from the Rockstar Sucks at Making Online Games video, where I discussed all of Rockstar's attempts at online games and how they've missed the mark, including GTA Online. Yawn. Another hit piece by a YouTuber who is bad at the game, so puts up video to get clicks. Oh, another comment that waves away criticism by saying, You're just bad! I've never spent a dime on shark cards. I've got hundreds of millions legit, and I even started another character from scratch and owned a hunter on both. Cool. Uh, oh, you want me to give a shit? Uh, uh, cool, very cool, you're, you're a cool guy. Glad you own the hunter on both accounts. Of course the kids will give you clicks because they are the terrible ones I see in free mode all the time, utterly clueless. You totally abuse the oppressor mark too. I can just tell by reading your comment. You try hard scrub. A lot of the point you said are absolutely true, but for most of them, Play multiplayer with friends. A lot of people say that online games are more fun with friends to wave away any criticism of that game. Fallout 76 and GTA Online are two common examples of that. Everything is more fun with friends. Getting pile driven by a gang of stampeding hippopotami is probably more fun with friends than alone. A game isn't good just because it's slightly less boring if you drag your friends along with you to joke around with. Dislike, 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 like what the fuck? No, don't dislike my video. It's totally not the same thing as liking the video according to YouTube because it counts as engagement. You'll be helping my channel. No, don't do it. Rockstar is the best online game maker out there. Like, who cares about Oppressor Mark II? Like, you make a better game, they don't. It's just a shame what you said. What the fuck does that even mean? Like, you make a... What? You heard it here, folks. If you can't make a better game by yourself than a AAA company with billions of dollars and hundreds of employees, then just keep your filthy hot dog eating mouth closed, you diaper dumpster. GTA Online is the most successful video game of all time. This guy, Rockstar sucks at making online games. If anything, GTA Online's success only supports my point about shark cards and how Rockstar sacrificed fun for maximizing profit. Yes, GTA Online is successful. Yes, it makes a boatload of cash. Does that mean it's fun or even good? No, because Rockstar made the game unfun so they could make all that money off of people wanting to skip the gameplay. The next time you see a super cool expensive car you want and think, screw making the money to buy that car by playing the game, I'll just buy a shark card to get it. You'll be proving my point. Shut your bitch ass up. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're trying to be critical so bad. The voice, humor, comedic timing. Be yourself, buddy. Oh look! It's that comment I get on every single video I have ever uploaded, and is in every single Angry Comments episode ever. If I had a Pringle for every comment calling me a critical ripoff or saying that I sound like him, I would have 20 cans of Pringles. At least. 
It's like everyone hears a person with a deep voice and dry humor and thinks, this is this person's traits, only them. And if anyone else has those two features, they are automatically copying them. Since I have already gone over this type of comment a million times, I'll just say this. No, I'm not. This next comment is on my ninja video. I don't care, ninja, but your videos are so bad, you make terrible jokes. He doesn't think I'm funny. <laughs> These angry comments are mean. Your content doesn't really require work. Just play a crappy game in the background and talk about part of a topic for five minutes. Also, you can really boil down anyone's videos like this. All this guy does is talk with gameplay. If you don't like my videos, that's fine. No sweat off my cheeks. I saved the highest IQ comment for last. It's on my Flat Earth video. Oh boy. It is disappointing just how wrong you are about things, especially when combined with the clearly under and eager that you display throughout this video. Do I sound egotistical in my videos? I don't see how I come across that way. How was I egotistical in the Flat Earther video? Because I was making fun of them? You sound like a three-year-old trying to convince and explain to the rest of the world how nuclear spallation works. I would say that Flat Earthers sound like three-year-olds trying to explain how the world is shaped before they learn in school that it's a globe. The Earth is flat, like the pancakes mom makes. You are clearly in over your head. You also know that you are either too lazy to do the work and learn the true depths of these subjects, not smart enough to grow them, or both. As you can see, this brainlet is employing the age-old strategy of calling anyone who doesn't agree with him stupid. Works every time. So you just point towards the closest authoritarian and say, yeah, what he said. Then turn to your camera and say, see, I'm smart. The irony here is that's what most flat earthers do. They listen to a random flat earther on YouTube and think, hmm, that sounds pretty believable. Then proceed to march around on the internet preaching the flat earth gospel and trying super hard to sound like they're smarter than the rest of us sheep. Followed by a quick, babe, rough. Oh my God, this guy is terrible. What? This guy is clearly smarter than I thought. I am in over my head after all. The rest of his comment is just insane rambling that you only see from Flat Earthers, where he acts like one day I'm gonna realize, hmm, science is wrong, the Earth is flat. Anyways, I've had enough angry for one day. Hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. Thanks for watching and have a good one.